construct an equilateral triangle inscribed inside the circle. So let me construct a circle that has the exact same dimensions as our original circle. Looks pretty good. And now let me move this center so it sits on our original circle. So they now sit on each other, or their centers now sit on each other. So I can make it, and that looks pretty, pretty good. And now let's think about something. If I were to draw this segment right over here, this of course it has the length of the radius. Now let's do another one. And that's either of their radii, because they have the same length. Now let's just center this at our new circle. Let's center it at our new circle and take it out here. Now this is equal to the radius of the new circle, which is the radius same as the radius of the old circle, which is going to be the same as this length here. So these two segments have the same length. Now, if I were to construct, if I were to connect that point to that point, this is a radius of our original circle. And so it's going to have the same length as these two. So this right over here, I have constructed an equilateral, an equilateral triangle. Now why is, why is this at all useful? Well, we know that the angles in an equilateral triangle are 60 degrees. So we know that this angle right over here is 60 degrees. Now why is, why is, that, why is this being 60 degrees interesting? Well, imagine if we constructed another triangle out here just symmetrically, but kind of flipped down, just like this. Well, the same argument, this angle right over here between these two edges, this is also going to be 60 degrees. So this entire interior angle, if we add those two up, are going to be 120 degrees. Now, why is that interesting? Well, if this interior angle is 120 degrees, then that means that this arc right over here is 120 degrees, or it's a third of the way around the triangle. This right over here is a third of the way around the triangle. Since that's a third of the way around the triangle, if I were to connect, if I were to connect these two dots, if I were to connect these two dots, that is going to be, this, this right over here is going to be a side of our equilateral triangle. It's this right over here, it's, it's, it's secant to an arc that is one third of the entire circle. And now I can keep doing this. Let's move, let's move, I'll reuse these. Let's move our circle around. And so now I'm gonna move my circle along the circumfer or around along the circle. And what I want again, I just want to intersect these two points. And so now let's see, I could take one of these, take it there, take it there, same exact argument. This this right this angle that I haven't fully drawn, or this arc you could say is 120 degrees. So this this is going to be one side of our equilateral triangle. It's secant to an arc of 120 degrees. So let's move this around again. Actually, we don't even have to move this around anymore. We could just we could just connect those last two dots. So we could just connect this one. Actually, I just want to let's connect that one to that one, and just like that, and we're done we have constructed our equilateral triangle.